Hey guys, it's Di and welcome to the vlog today. So I already have my camera all set up because I did a haul, so I thought, well, we'll just start the vlog today here too. So welcome to Monday. But we're gonna take you along for a day in the life this week and share kind of some of our trip prep and what's going on. Our exciting thing today is that we have quarantine cake, which um, I guess we just have cake for no reason other than just for something fun to do. We had a gift card to Publix and it's about the same price as what their cakes were. So we decided, well, quarantine cake, it could be a thing. So pass it on to your friends. Um, but that's our fun thing for tonight. Uh, we do have a Disney trip coming up, which is good because it gives something to all of us something to look forward to. Um, and I think it'll be just kind of a good mental health, like getaway for everyone. But this morning, everyone's off and going. The kids are working on their stuff. My husband's working back in his office area. And I'm in an incredibly awkward situation. So I guess I'll just let you know in case you start seeing like 10 YouTube videos a week. Um, you know, I'm one of those people I like to stay like incredibly busy. I just like being busy. That's why I always have a ton of things going on. And so work is still struggling and we've been either furloughed or only working part time as it is, but obviously we're starting to go into like a really slow season anyways. So we're trying to throttle down our hours as much as possible. So trying to really keep my hours as low as possible. But then at the same time, it drives me nuts because like I am, I guess you could probably say like a workaholic, like I feel like I need to be working on stuff and I know that there's stuff that's not getting done, but I'm trying to like limit my hours. So that's incredibly awkward, but then it's also like everyone in my house is like off doing their own thing. And I am just like, I don't know, I don't feel like I have a purpose right now. So if you start seeing a ton of YouTube videos, you know what happened, but I will always have a ton of trip videos from Disney. So I guess I'll have that coming up, which will keep me occupied editing those. But yeah, it's just going to be an odd time over the fall and winter because I very much like you know, going to work and having that purpose and it's like very fulfilling for me. Like the kids are older now, so you know, I still help them make their lunch and things like that, but for the most part during the day, they're busy during their classes, they don't need me. So it's very different than like being a stay-at-home mom when they were little where they like needed something constantly through the day. Like that was very much gave me purpose and that was my role and so this is weird because like I'm still working but not a lot, but you know, I still have stuff that I have to do for them, but it's, it's, I don't know, it's gone the other way. A couple weeks ago, I was like stressed with trying to juggle everything, but now I guess it's swung the other way. So, uh, glass, glass jars and all of that. But anyhow, I will take you along for our day. Let me know if you have any video requests because this is like our incredibly like slower season anyways. So this would already have been like a tougher time anyhow, but I have a feeling I'm gonna have a lot of time on my hands in the fall and winter to fill. So I have to like find a new hobby or make more wreaths or learn a new language or something. So anyhow, let me know your suggestions down below. <laughs> and if there's anything you wanna see in a video, let me know too. But. Um, I am going to share in a video coming up sometime this week when I share the clothing um, planning video for Disney and I'm going to do a try on haul once everything is here. I'm just waiting on one more thing I think to get here and then I'll share a try on haul of that stuff. But um, people were asking for a closet tour so I don't think I've ever done one since we've gotten here. And the closet, I was thinking about it, it may actually be an area that I work on um, redoing at some point in the future. Like not necessarily redoing, but like just trying to decorate it a little bit more because like right now it's definitely like just a functional closet area. Just has kind of pieces in it that we um, had at other places like, um, you know, a little bench that I use as a shoe holder and stuff like that too. So I'll take you along and I'll show you a closet tour sometime later this week and film that. Um, and then you can kind of maybe see that progression. That'll be a fun project. But yeah, other than that, I'm just trying to find projects to work on around the house, I guess, and get used to our new normal here. So um, other than quarantine cake, I guess it's not going to be a lot going on today. So I just filmed an Amazon haul and that will probably be up 
if it has not up before this, then it'll be up later this week. And I also have some Scentsy goodies that I'll share at some point. I've got to go through those and get the box out of here because our trash pickup is tomorrow and they pick up cardboard boxes. So I've got to go through all that stuff, but I'm going to go put all of these disposable box masks back where we keep these and are waiting for um, taking them on our upcoming trip. What's up, buddy? You coming to see what I'm going to do? So it's about time to get the kids their lunch. So I'm going to go see what everyone is up to out here and see if I can start getting lunch started. Aha! Hi, what are you doing? Amazing features of Google Maps. Hey, this looks more like the moon. This is that on Google Maps? You're looking at other planets on Google Maps? Yes, and I didn't know I could do that. Or is it just, what did you Google? You Googled space? No. What did you Google? To, how'd you get to it? I just kind of tapped on Earth or something like that. Huh. Hey, Venus is orange. That's cool. I didn't know I could do that either. You already had your food. Why are you looking at me like that? So Isabella has taken to having Progresso chicken noodle soup a lot of the days. So we have this Progresso chicken noodle soup. We've got chicken and wild rice. We've got the hearty rotini. Do you want chicken and wild rice or rotini? She likes all these. This is pretty much the Isabella section. So we have those and a bunch of other things on hand. And then a lot of times we also make PB&Js for the girls as well. So I'm going to make her one of those. So here is our quarantine cake from Costco, which we're going to have tonight. We got it yesterday, but we went to this really pretty lookout place that was just down the road. And we had a great time out there, but we were trying to get there for sunset. So we didn't have time to cut it yesterday. So we decided we would just have it um, today. So I'm gonna get the jelly out of here, but obviously I need to do some cleaning out of the fridge because it is trash day tomorrow. And I'm gonna clear out some things here. And since we've been doing the whole quarantine thing, we've been getting the giant thing of peanut butter since everyone's here at home and kind of eating lunch more often because we use this for a lot of different things and it's actually super cheap. It's only like, I don't know, it's something ridiculous, like three or $4 from Walmart and it lasts a while and everyone, including the dog, he heard it open up, um, enjoys the peanut butter. Okay, PB and J coming up. And we like having some fruit and cheese with lunch a lot of times too. So today we're going to have some strawberries and kiwi. Natalie's on her lunch break now too, so she's working on some aqua beads. So this gigantic box from TJ Maxx just arrived and it has a Halloween decoration in it actually. I ordered it a while back and used PayPal and it just hadn't arrived in a while. But look at how... I knew the decoration was fairly small but they put it in like the biggest box possible. But it's supposed to be a cute little tree with bats on it, so let's open this up. So let's see, I may need two hands to get this out of there. They had it thoroughly packed, that is for certain. So it's got sparkly bats on it. And, oh, I didn't even realize the brand is Martha Stewart. I just happened to randomly see it when I was looking through the Halloween stuff on there. And I just thought it was really super cute because I had the bats. That's really cute. So it was only like $14.99, I believe. And free shipping because I had a free shipping code. And I don't know if I realize it's been so long since I ordered it. I can't even remember. But it lights up too. <laughs> Look how cool that is. So I had to figure out a fun place in the house to put this and get some batteries in it as well. Can you see the spooky little battery? <laughs> I gotta find a place for it. <laughs> Isn't that cute? Cool. So I'm going to move these two things off of this area here in the kitchen, but I think I'm going to put this little tree over here on that side for right now. We'll see if it stays there or not. So the kids are back working on their lessons, and I'm going to go through my Scentsy stuff here. I got a number of scents. First day of fall, which is ironically tomorrow. Uh, winter berry apple tea. Jack's Obsession. I love that one. It smells really, really good. Um, and I've got catalogs. So I'll put a call out on Facebook is normally where I do it. If you want a catalog and one of these Harvest Collection booklets, um, I'm sending those out. I'm going to get all of this stuff out and play with it. I think I'll probably do a Scentsy haul for the people that are just interested in Scentsy. So that way they can see what I got and I'll unpack everything and all of that. Um, so I'll put that in a separate video if you're interested in seeing that and then back to the regular schedule vlog. It gives you a little curiosity. <laughs> Where are these? They're Scentsy catalogs. Can I smell this one? Yes, you can smell that one. Smell 
good. I like this one. This one just got here. Jack's Obsession. It smells pretty good too. The one I had in a travel tin. You like that one? That one's black raspberry vanilla. I get that in a lot of different ones. <laughs> it's so good. Natalie likes it when it's our own order and not things we're sending to everyone else because she can stuff her nose and everything. <laughs> so we're going to go put this out over here on our Halloween area. I will. I'm going to get it plugged in first. Okay. All right. So here's what I was thinking. So because this plug is like right here. So I was thinking that this could kind of go right here and then it'll kind of cover up the plug behind it. So that's what that looks like down there. That's really cute. I think that kind of completes that area really nicely. So we went ahead, I have a stash in my kitchen. We went ahead and chose black raspberry vanilla to put in here. You wanna put one cube in there? One cube? Yep. Is it already? Yeah, it's already, you just gotta pop it out. <laughs> here, you gonna get it? Yeah, I kinda do. All right, here. How do I get it? Show me, mom. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yep, you just gotta pop it up out of there. All right. Oh, well, I'm curious what's going to happen. <laughs> it's just going to melt a little bit. Yeah, it's just got to get warm and it'll melt. Mm -hmm. And okay. then they'll have purple wax in the top of the books. And I'm going to touch the real wax. <laughs> well, it's probably going to be really hot. But... Yeah, just leave it be. Luckily, he leaves them alone, so I'm not worried about putting it down at that level. So UPS just got here, and they brought us more trip items. Yay! So let's see what's in here. So I got some cozy pajama pants. Those are just in For general. You. Yeah, those are supposed to be cropped, but they look really long. Um, and then we got new socks for Natalie. And, and new socks for me. And apparently and then pants too. I got capri pants. The large ones are on back order, but I got black capri pants for Natalie and then Isabella's are on back order. And then we got two of these Minnie Mouse shirts that say so cute it's scary for them to wear. <coughs> this one's medium, so that one's you, Natalie. And these might just be like hang around the resort shirts or travel shirts or whatever, but I thought that they were cute. So that one's Isabella's. And then, what is this? Oh, I forgot I got that. I got a Jack Skellington shirt for me. And it's said to order up, but it still looks kind of crappy. Oh, I didn't know it said Unlucky 13. It's very like junior size, so hopefully that fits. And then um, I got Natalie. This is not for the trip. This is just in general. I got her some of these jeans to try because a lot of the jeans that Isabella has being handed down are skinny jeans from Old Navy. No, not Old Navy. Skinny jeans from H&M, which are a very specific style, and they don't fit Natalie the greatest. Mm -hmm. So I got these Cat and Jack with kind of the... A elastic waist for her to try and see if they fit. All right, so those worked out good for her, so that's good but to know for the future. Back, well, yeah, it's kind of warm in here right now, actually. So this is what this looks like. You can't. I need to get a long mirror. You can't really see, but this is what it looks like with the shirt tucked in. So I think with the shirt tucked in, it's fine. Then it's a little bit shorter. It's actually kind of less material. I was kind of hoping to tie it, but I think that this works fine. The kids said that they like it for. Uh, for a Disney outfit. And they like that it says something on the back, so. It says on Lucky 13. Yep. So these are the Hanes women's ones. We wanted to get some higher ankle ones because Natalie has gotten high tops that need a little bit higher socks. And these will be good for that. And then I needed some more socks. They go to my I did an Amazon haul earlier as a separate video and I don't even think I realized when I did that I had a couple of these pillowcases that are plaid but then I had completely forgotten and I went ahead and got my Christmas pillowcases as well. Um, so these are all ready to go for the most wonderful time of the year. So I wanted to get them while I could find them so it didn't like the maple tree, the prices didn't skyrocket when it got closer to Christmas. So 
Um, that was a boo-boo in the Amazon haul. But then also I got these from Origins. Um, I ordered some more of my Energy Boosting Moisturizer. There is some of this Into the Glow Brightening Serum. This is new. I've never tried this before. Um, but it's the same ginseng line that does really well for me. The Energy Boosting Treatment Lotion Mist, which is actually just like a toner I used before I put on my moisturizer. And then they were doing something where if you spent, I believe, over 65 you got a free full size. And I got this Refreshing Scrub Cleanser as my free full size. You got to pick from like three items. And that just happened to be something that I used. So I got that. Um, so I should be stocked up on my skincare for a little while, which is good. I usually go through the moisturizer the fastest out of everything, but this will get me stocked up for a little bit. So for dinner tonight, we are going to do the biscuit chicken pot pie that I think I've shown in a vlog fairly recently, but I'm going to get all of the veggies chopped up and get this started. So fun fact about me, I don't consider myself a cook and I don't consider myself someone that enjoys cooking, but I do love cutting up vegetables. I've always enjoyed cutting up vegetables. This is something I enjoy doing. So getting vegetables ready for a dish like this is not a bad time. So I'm gonna dump these in here and let them sit for a little bit and then I will coat them with the seasonings and the flour. So I let this sit for a little bit and I'm just going to put some flour over it. It just kind of coats it a little bit and then it gives it kind of a little bit of a taste as it cooks together. So put about four scoops of that and get it all over the counter. So I have to stir that in. So that just gives the vegetables a nice coating. You can see like it soaked up all the butter so it kind of holds the butter. So it's next to the vegetables. So I'm just going to put some parsley and some thyme in there and then I'm going to add a little bit of milk because I don't have half and half today and then some chicken broth and make the mixture and then I'll transfer it over into my glass dish. I'm going to stir that around. Ideally you want to use like half and half or whipping cream, but I'm using this lactose free milk because it's all I have in the house. But I'll put some flour in there to try to thicken it a little bit more. But one of the other creams would make this a little bit kind of creamier right off the bat. I just dumped some already cooked chicken in there because it's quicker and easier. And then I'm just gonna put some of this all seasoning stuff across the top and mix it all around and then I'm gonna transfer this over into my glass dish and just put my biscuits on the top of it. And this was a bigger pack of biscuits so I may not need all of them. I sometimes just get the five pack but this was a bigger one. So I'm gonna put my biscuits in there and then I'll have a couple extra biscuits I can make on the side that we can have for breakfast or some other time. Then I will just pop this in the oven and let the biscuits cook up. And then they just soak up the chicken mixture underneath them. And these are done, so I'm gonna get these scooped out onto plates and they're gonna be ready to go for dinner and I'll save these for breakfast tomorrow or they can just have these at a different time. So we totally had quarantine cake for dessert and it was really good. Uh, I did not vlog any of it because we were already just ready to have dessert at that point, but we had our quarantine cake and it was a good time. So I'm working on cleaning up the kitchen and getting the dishwater, dishwater, wow. Dishwasher loaded again. And you'll get the stove cleaned off. And it'll be another end of the evening. Okay, this is all cleared off and ready to make another mess tomorrow. That's it for our day today. Hopefully you guys enjoy coming along. Penguin's apparently coming and saying goodbye. And uh, we'll see you for some more vlogs later on this week. Thanks for watching and have a great day.